Okay, so there have been numerous games that have some kind of uh, device that does recording, such as a camcorder, uh, like an Outlast, or a smartphone, like in, I think it was called White Day. Uh, it was kind of like Fatal Frame. And what they do is, in addition to being in an environment, first person, that you have a shrunken version of the environment displayed on the screen. And uh, I wanted to demonstrate how to do that. So um, the only thing I really don't have is I don't have a camcorder model. So I'm just going to use a 2D image, which is fine. Because the main thing I'm trying to demonstrate is how to have basically what's known as picture in picture. You've got a small image uh, inserted into a larger one. And so uh, let's just uh, have at it. So... I already went ahead and made a few environmental items because, again, this video isn't about making an environment. This is really about the picture-in-picture, picture, having multiple cameras. So we're just going to drag this plane in here, which already has a texture. And not a very good one because you can clearly see the uh, grid pattern. So it's not a great texture, just, again, so it's not blank. Going to drag in a tree. And it's a little bit small, so let's make this more like... 200 by 200 by 200 and let's just rotate around so it'll be easier to position that okay now we'll copy that and we'll paste it and I'm not looking for like unique uniqueness as far as um, making one bigger than the other, or other ones missing branches. The idea is just to have something for the camcorder to focus on. Uh, is really all I'm trying to demonstrate here. So, and now we're just gonna kind of cheat. We're gonna grab all these. We're gonna copy. We're gonna paste them all at once. Push them back, and then like make them off center like that. So you have a little couple rows of trees. Now let's click on the main camera, and that's what it's going to look like. So that's pretty good. Um, let's take one more here, push it over, and let's line this more up like this, just so I can see what the camera would look like without actually having to click on it again and again. All right, so I think that's good for now. We can always add more. So there's our basic, our environment. Now what we need to do is we're going to put in our camcorder. And again, it really should be a 3D model. It, it, there's only one way having a 2D image impacts, and that is I'm not going to be able to do like any kind of complex rotation of this image. Uh, but that's okay. This still gets you uh, basically to where you need to be. So that looks to be just about right, depending how close I put it to the camera. We'll make it look a little bit bigger too without actually changing the object size. And yes, it is really poorly drawn. I think I took like five minutes to make this in uh, Anime Studio Pro. Okay, that's good. So what we need is a new camera, or a second camera, I should say. So camera, and we'll call this camcorder. Camera. And now what we're going to do is we need this image to be shrunken down and placed onto this screen. So what we need to do, and again, since it's a 2D object, I'm, I'm technically not actually overlaying it. You can take a camera image and turn it to a texture. Uh, that's not what I'm actually doing here. I'm just kind of faking it. I'm just going to line it up. And again, it's just to get you into the basics of using multiple cameras. So first thing we need to do is let's bring it in line with our other camera. So our other camera is 0, 1, negative 10. 
So let's put this at 0, 1, negative 10. So now they're in exactly the same place. Now what we need to do is we need to shrink it. So see viewport rectangle, x is 0, y is 0. So x, re x being 0 refers to the left side of the screen. y being 0 refers to the uh, bottom of the screen. So 0, 0 is here, 1, 1 is here. In other words, because this is looking at not position in the environment, but position on the game player screen, okay, you can only be between zero and one because you're you only have one screen's worth of distance. Okay, same thing for the width and the height ranges from zero to one, and now these are one one because you want it to be the full screen. So what it's saying is you're starting at zero zero, and it's one width and one height of the screen. All right. So what you do then is you want this to be shrunken. Now, now that I've explained it, I'll probably jump ahead, but basically it's making, you want to make the camera image fit this. And that's just a matter of trial and error. So like, you can see down here what the preview looks like so far. So this is less than halfway across the screen. So let's try like 0.3. And it's less than halfway, well it's about halfway up the screen. So let's try 0.5. And we don't want it to be, obviously, a full width. This is maybe one-eighth of the screen at best. So let's try like 0.25 by 0.25. Now, as you notice, this is adjusting. Because now we're not on this top camera. We're on our camcorder camera. So you're seeing what that camera looks like. So let's just quickly run this, and maybe that will... Uh, it, it, it's, it's definitely going to need work, but let's see. Okay, so that's actually pretty close. Now, a couple things. Obviously, we don't want the camcorder to show up, so we're going to have to move the camera uh, so as it's in front of the camcorder. Okay, But this size isn't too far off. The width is just about right. We just have to push it over the X, but the height is a little wrong. So uh, one thing at a time. So we said this needs to move over a little bit, so 0.25. We said the height is a little bit wrong. It's uh, not tall enough, so let's make that 0.35. And let's run it one more time. We're not going to move the camcorder yet because I don't want to do too much at once. Okay, so that looks much better. Now it's too high, and I moved it over left too much. You can see really precise changes. So let's make this 0.3. Didn't I do 0.3 the first time? I think I did. So 0.3, and let's bring this down to like 0.3. Now, like I said, now that I've explained it, and now that you've seen it, I'll probably jump ahead when it's right. Okay, that's actually really close. So I think I'll just jump ahead, and um, then we'll look at the final settings. Okay, and we're back. So... The final numbers are 0.285, yes, you can go out a third decimal place, so 0.285x, so again, that's the distance from the left border, 0.18, that's the difference from the bot of the distance from the bottom border, the width of the window is 0.26, and the height is 0.34, and now if we run it, you can see that it's in there. Now, again, we don't want the camera to show up, so that's the next thing we have to do. And as it turns out, that does something else for us. So we're going to take this camera and we're going to move it forward. Uh, so let's see, the camcorder image is at negative 4. So let's put the camcorder just in front of that. And as you can see here, it's getting closer and then it's eventually going to disappear. So there we go. So now the camera is in front of the camcorder image. And it's not readily obvious, obvious, but by pushing it forward, okay, what it's done is it's changed the proportion some. So it's hard to count, but you, on the main screen, you can see one, two, three, four, five. I think you can see all six trees in the front. You can see only four trees here. 
So that's one thing you have to keep in mind is that since the camera is in front of the player, uh, it really shouldn't have exactly the same perspective. That you, just as the camcorder object is in front of the player, so should the camera, the secondary camera for that. And now it's just a matter of tweaking it. I think that's good enough for this particular one. Uh, so that's step one, getting the picture in the picture. Now that's not too much different from the other tutorial I did. The next one is moving this around. So we'll do that in the next video.